Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Uh, for any new content that I put up during the week, of course, devotions are put up every single day. And, uh, and then I try to provide a variety of content. My favorite is the Shop With Me's because although I don't have a whole lot of money to spend, I like to go look and see what's around. And so um, I do hope you decide to like and subscribe. And of course, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. I've got some DIYs coming up and some Shop With Me's this week. So uh, you're gonna wanna not miss that. Our devotions are coming from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy. And today is Tuesday, December the 14th. I want to say a big, great big happy anniversary to my twin sister, Winnie, and her husband, Carlos. Today is their 25th wedding anniversary, their silver anniversary. So uh, congratulations, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Our devotion is entitled, Forget the Pain, with an exclamation point. <laughs> Let's hear the prophetic word. It is time to forget your season of pain and embrace your season of fruitfulness, says the Lord. Even as Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh, it was his declaration that he had forgotten his years of hardship. So must you declare that your hearts of struggle and toil are behind you now. Oh, your years of struggle and toil are behind you now. Our scripture comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verses 51 to 52. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God, he, said he, had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim. For God had caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. No matter what hardships you have been through, God always has a plan to move you forward to a new chapter. Whether your hardships are from your distant past or they just occurred yesterday, God is always beckoning you to put that season of toil behind you. Notice in the verses above, when Joseph called his firstborn son Manasseh, it was because God had made him forget all his hardship and all his father's house. Why all his father's house? That is because to him, the years he spent growing up held a lot of bad memories and hurts. Maybe your upbringing was filled with similar memories. Well, it's time to move from the place, from that place and open a new chapter. It is your Ephraim chapter which in the Hebrew means double fruitfulness. Even negative experiences from this week will lose their ability to keep you down when you choose to forget your struggles. It's time to forget the pain and dwell instead on the blessings of tomorrow and wonderful fruit God is producing in your life. And you know, I want to pause there and just share. I'm, I'm aware of negative mindsets and how toxic and poisonous it can be to your joy. It's a thief. It's, it's an act of the thief whose only action is to steal, kill, and destroy. That's it. That's his only purpose. And it's a struggle that my family has. Um, the negativity, the complaining, the dwelling on the bad things to where you can't even have a memory without, oh yeah, but this, that, and the other, it, without bringing the negative into it and kind of tainting every memory. I know what that's like, and that is a stronghold of the enemy. So don't remain in that place. It's literally like just allowing a thief to come in and ransack your home. Can you imagine just what it feels like and you, maybe you experience this, to have your house broken into and, and your things ransacked. The lack of security the, the, that that grips you with, the, the fear, is someone going to come in this house when I'm here? Could someone come into this house and harm my children? You know, I mean, that lack of security when you're violated in that way, uh, that's the enemy. When we dwell in the negative, that is what the enemy is doing. He is violating our peace of mind. He's robbing from us our joy. He's... He's um, stealing the very things God wants you to be blessed with. And 
for you to sit and dwell in the pain of whatever betrayal or abuse, whatever it is. He wants you to stay there. The devil wants you to stay there. God wants you to move past it so that you can have life to the full as he promised. Not to live and dwell. People become mentally ill from dwelling on the negative. It's they they talk about it in science. You know, laughter they said is good like medicine, but even a positive mindset, a positive attitude, a positive outlook. A negative outlook kills you. A positive one moves you forward and it's backed up scripturally it's backed up scientifically so follow what the lord is leading you to do forget the pain put it behind you god can give god can help you do it and you can even cry out to him honest like that i want to forget the pain but i can't i'm having a very hard time i need your help god i need your help to move past the hurt that i've gone through when you cry out to him with sincerity like that he does not ignore that because he sees your heart. He knows you inside and out, every thought. And he wants you to move past. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be delivered and restored so he can give you and pour the blessings on you that he wants you to have. Let's pray the prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you that today I give spiritual birth to Manasseh by choosing to forget the hurts of yesterday. I declare this is now my season of Ephraim, my season of double fruitfulness, and it is a new chapter in my life. I thank you for it. And Lord, I lift up all those who are struggling with this. Help them to cry out to you where they are from a sincere heart that truly desires to be set free from the prison of negativity in their thoughts, the prison of haunting memories, Lord, of pain and betrayal. Help them to move past it, Father God. We break the back of the enemy. We loose mind, will, and emotions of everyone who's hearing and listening and struggling. We loose them right now from the enemy's grip. And Father, we thank you as they choose to step forward, as they choose to forget the pain, Lord. You are going to help them uh, forget that pain and step forward into double fruitfulness. And we give you the glory for it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you for spending a little bit of your morning with me, your day. I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. God bless you and bye until next time.